for some of you, it's been a while. So check it out. Four years ago this week, I made this video about things being better when they come together. What is a real celebration without salsa? You seem to really like that video too. But by itself, a food like a serrano chili eaten whole with no special effects, that would just be dumb. <clears throat> so, so the lesson, the lesson there. I wanted to revisit that video because in the four years since I did it, I think we've seen a lot about how good we don't get along sometimes. Consider salsa. So check this out. What if salsa was people? No, wrong way to say it. What if we were salsa? No. Just watch. So like I said, we're gonna make a salsa. Again, we'll call it Salsa 2.0. It's still gonna be really good. To make a good salsa, you need more than one ingredient. You need tomatoes, you need limes, you need peppers, you need onions, you need cilantro. So you've gotta take all these different kinds of vegetables and mix them together. But what if they decided that they didn't wanna mix together? Check this out. What if the tomatoes started saying, We're tomatoes and you could not handle us. You could not be us if you tried. So just step away. Or if the limes would argue that, We limes are tart, juicy, and so acidic that we will burn through you. So back off. And you know the peppers are gonna weigh in. If you can't handle the heat, get out of the chili peppers away. What you should do right now. Garlic kind of gets a bad rap too, so they're arguing that We garlic are more than just repellent for the creatures of the night. And the onion, not to be outdone, the onion says Yeah, that's right. I'm an onion. And I'm gonna make you cry. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. So stay back. And then the cilantro, on top of everything else, the cilantro says Ah! Cilantro coming in! I am cool. I am crisp, and I do not need to be here with any of you right now. You feel me? And in some ways, it feels like that's the way a lot of grown-ups have been over the past few years. Understanding that they're different, but choosing to not want to get along. And I think that if we want to make a salsa, we've got to let these vegetables be different together. And I think if we want to have a healthy community, a healthy church, a different healthy place for any of us, We've got to be able to take what's different about us and blend them together. Could you imagine vegetables not wanting to mix together to make a beautiful salsa? That would be so weird. Wouldn't it be weird? Vegetables. Are you ready for some salsa? Yeah. Okay. Well then, let's do it. <laughs> And that's how you make an amazing, tasty salsa. It takes a little work and it takes a little focus and it takes the combination of different flavors, textures, backgrounds, histories to mix, to blend, and to make something special. Here's the deal. If we're gonna be better together, we need different kinds of people. We actually need you kids to help lead us, teach us how you do it better than us. Because I'm gonna be honest, us adults, We've not been perfect at bringing all of our strengths together because of our differences. We're going to try to do better. We really are. 
but we want you to do it with us. So whether it's a regular traditional church experience or a local neighborhood or an alternative faith community like Social Thread, we want to look at our differences, celebrate them, and bring them together. Because after all, that is the spice of life. It really gets you. It really gets you right here. <clears throat> I made a mistake. Oh, I made a mistake. Something is not right with me. Something.